in this tutorial we are going to apply material and appearance to this model tell stock assembly in SOLIDWORKS visualize so first we have to export it so for exporting just go to drop down the menu of option add-ins come down and here you will find option SOLIDWORKS visualize just check the box say ok now here you will see the ribbon SOLIDWORKS visualize just click export advanced now here it will give you two option none and motion none means simple model and motion means there is some animations or something so we, we don't want to make any animation we will simply make a model so keep none say ok now see it is exporting to SOLIDWORKS visualize now look now this is the R model. Now here the first option is base configuration. This already has some material inside it. Now the next option is rendering selection. In rendering selection you have three or four options. It is preview. Preview is generally not look like real. And the second one is fast. It, it nears to a, uh, real view. And the third one is accurate, but it will take time to render it. Now the next option is turntable click. And here you will be able to perform many operations like let's say enable, disable, play. Now it is going to rotate. Option, reset. Now from here see. reverse rotation if again you play slower faster this key see this is going to be faster reverse reset that's it now the next option comes here selection tool you have to select for part model group for many reasons like you have to change scale you have to rotate or move part you have to move assembly or something so you have to choose according to that let's say part first we have to choose one part and move now look the part is going to move according to it control z back select the part from here you have to choose model Okay, the whole model we are going to choose and let's say scale. Now from center you can increase or decrease the uniformly or from one box you can increase height, width, anything that is what according to your requirement. Okay, now again click and uncheck this. Now the next option come here, camera tool. Just simply rotate pan then zoom zoom in zoom out then again twist option unchecked and here all are the views and the final one is render output i'll show you later now comes here this is palette and in palettes you will see model appearance scene camera and file library if you go to file library you will see appearance you will see all the material here local and cloud also there even so if some material not available in local you can access from cloud so let's say local metal okay let's apply some like material to this cast iron just click and drag to this body if you go to part now this is the cast iron we applied you just click come down here and color also you can change let's I'm going to change this color to red dark red or something like this
ओके इवन दो फ्यू मोर थिंग्स यू कैन कैलकुलेट लेट्स से ओके रफनेस आल्सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके लेट्स कीप व्हाट इट इज then again go to library now this time i'll go to cloud and let's activate some cloud metal this is going to be chrome that's it again drag and drop chrome to this that's fine now if you click appearance here you will see metal in metal let's say polished steel or something like this let's say rubber rubber even you can get in local file rubber to apply to this but we want a polished rubber or oh, there is a one more option solid works appearance glossy rubber drag that's fine now in solid works let's say brass polished brass i am going to apply to this bronze i am going to apply polished bronze to this handle just apply to this handle and uh, satin finish to this okay just come to steel polished steel carbon steel polished steel to this stainless steel okay let's apply carbon steel to this see this is how simply we applied many material to this if you go to scenes you can apply scenes from here or even simply here you will see environment and many environment you want to apply just double click and it will be see go to see appearance now here you will find this is the previous one general and from here also you can change the things like brightness see rotation it means you can control the environment because if you apply environment it the part it will apply globally on the part which controls the camera or lighting that's look perfect this is look more realistic okay that's it the final thing is you can change output let's say output tool now here first you have to write the name of this project tell stock okay then you have to allocate the location where you want to save so this is one file format image format i'll keep png output i'll keep render 
and the layer and everything is there just come down this is the resolution if you keep higher resolution it will take time these are the pixels and everything you can keep according to you now here i am going to choose fast or accurate accurate gives you better quality and here let's say 1000 start render once you say start render it will start calculating you will see at the top percentage is going on so it will take time is according to your requirement how clear and how realistic you want now here our render is complete and you will see folder just click and it will open the destination where our file saved this is our output click look this is the our final output so this is a simple exercise where you learn how to use solid works visualize i hope you like it don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in solid works thanks for watching